When the UCP government arrived in office, the publicly funded addiction care system was capable of treating 19,000 people a year. We added 10,000 additional fully funded treatment spaces. The NDP was charging user fees of $40 per day for people to access our publicly funded addiction treatment system. The United Conservative government eliminated that fee. This means that Alberta's addiction treatment system now provides detox treatment and recovery services for up to 29,000 Albertans every year, fully funded and free of charge. While our drive to build a world-class addiction care system is recognized around the world, it's being called the Alberta model, we're nowhere near done. We must assertively drive forward with these plans. And that's why a re-elected United Conservative government will build over 700 new publicly funded addiction treatment beds across Alberta with 11 new treatment centers. We call these centers recovery communities with free admission to any Albertan who needs it. Too many of our First Nations friends are suffering and I will not stand idly by while the federal government does little to help. I want to be a strong advocate and you have my commitment that we will be there for each other and we will walk this road together. We are also proud that a re-elected United Conservative government will build four of these recovery communities in partnership with First Nations, including the Kainai Nation, the Enoch Cree Nation, the Siksika Nation, and the Sutina Nation. The re-elected United Conservative government will address the lack of inpatient support for mental illness in Alberta by building five new 75-bed mental wellness centres that will provide a total of 375 new inpatient mental health beds. Like recovery communities for addiction, mental wellness centres will provide long-term treatment programs that address mental illness and provide mental health support for those pursuing recovery from mental health challenges. Because United Conservatives know the importance of providing supports for those struggling with both their mental health and their addiction. It's why we have increased the funding and priority of both over the past four years and especially this last year. We stand for safe, effective and, effect and accessible treatment for all. We stand for helping those who are struggling to achieve recovery. We stand for achieving life-saving services on demand when they are needed. We stand for partnerships with First Nations and walking this journey together. We stand for a parent's right to save the life of their child. We stand for safe streets and accountability. We stand for safe and drug-free transit. And we stand for a functioning justice system.